Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is episode two in the series where I show you how you can repurpose pieces of your old, uh, unused, or outdated planners. And today we are going to be doing a DIY journal using some Happy Planner uh, dividers, like monthly tab dividers, as covers. So I'm just going ahead and grabbing a few out of my collection and then I have a bunch of papers here that I'm going to use inside my journal or notebook or whatever you want to call it I guess technically it's like a notebook I don't know it could be a journal whatever you use it for so uh, I am just taking my trimmer and I am trimming off the punched side uh, as close to the punch as I can get it and then I am trimming off the overhang of the tab. Uh, if you wanted you could um, cut off the whole part of the tab like even the part that like the little part that attaches the tab to the page you know what I mean that little black rectangle rectangle that ends up being left over but uh, it doesn't bother me it being there so I don't uh, I don't cut it off. I like having the extra little um, length. So I just wanted to measure those so that I could go ahead and measure some pieces. Uh, or I thought I was going to measure them out, <laughs> uh, but then I realized I'd just tape it on and cut it off would be easier. Uh, so I'm backing these so that the like calendar sides don't show and the inside just looks like a decorative inside of a cover. So I'm just going to glue all of those on and see even this one is used so you can even do your used ones. So once those are all glued on uh, I'm going to go ahead and trim the excess off. And you really don't need that much glue um, because after this you're going to be laminating it. So I would suggest a like dry adhesive like a glue runner uh, or something like that. Like you could even attach it with like scotch tape if you wanted. Like do the little scotch tape circle and stick it down like that because it's going to be laminated, laminated together later anyways. So... Um, right now I am cutting down the pages that are going to be going inside my journal and I'm just doing as many at a time as my trimmer can handle and I am measuring or uh, I am cutting them uh, six and a half wide by nine and a quarter tall. Uh, yours is going to depend on uh, the the size that you cut your dividers down to or what size planner you get your dividers from. So the sizing here doesn't really matter uh, too much. Just make sure that your cover is going to be slightly larger than the pages on the inside so that it looks like a normal like cover once it's on and everything. So I put a few too many pages in there than my uh, trimmer could handle but so I've got some regular lined paper some grid paper uh, some printer paper some kind of like it's like heavier weight slightly heavier weight printer paper and I kind of wanted this to be like an eclectic type notebook have lots of different page types so that I could use it for a lot of different things Apparently I'm putting a lot of printer paper in here. Uh, it's because it's thicker, so I can't put as many sheets when I'm cutting it. But So next I am cutting down some uh, pages. These are pages that I took out of uh, the backs, these are like the note pages, the blank note pages. Um, well, that one was. These ones are just some random 
no, no, no. These are, these are from the back of a planner too. So I went through all of my old planners and all of my current planners and I took out all of the note pages that I either uh, hadn't used or knew I wouldn't use and I'm going to repurpose them and put them in this uh, notebook so that they don't go to waste. And I'm just cutting off the, um, the punched side of them and they're all shorter than... Uh, this notebook is going to be so I don't have to cut them down any further that way. And then I have some craft cardstock that I'm going to cut down so that I can use them as a kind of divider between each paper type. Which you don't, you don't have to have different paper types if you don't want and you don't have to have these kinds of paper types. You can do whatever you want. So I laminated my covers and the reason I laminated two sets of covers, uh, this video is only going to uh, cover one notebook and I'm going to have a second video that's going to show you a very similar process but it's going to show how I use these cover or these um, dividers to make covers and create a um, spiral bound junk journal and that video is going to be on my second channel which is always linked in the description box down below and um, I will mm, yeah I'll, I'll link that video uh, once it's live it should be going live at the same time as this one so if you're interested in seeing that there will be a link in the description box I just want to let you guys know that's why I have two sets of covers here so I'm just cutting the lamination down so it has a slight little border around the um the, the divider and I don't know if I do it right now but eventually I round the corners with some scissors right now I am going to punch the holes in the planner And it can't, it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing, sorry, but I'm just using my cinch machine and I have this um, piece of coil and I just wanted to make sure that I was punching the correct amount of holes uh, for that coil. So the cover I just punched is the one I'm going to be using for this notebook. And I punched one too many holes um, on this one. So it's not centered. Uh, the coil's not centered. And it does bother me, but um, it's really not a big deal. I mean, I'm going to be the person using this, so I'll get over it. <laughs> But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and punch all of my papers. The papers, the extra note pages that I took out of all my planners are going to be the ones that I put uh, in the back of the planner. So when you're putting things on the coil for the cinch machine, um, it you start from the last page. Like you put the last page on first or the back cover. Um, there's a couple, couple different ways you can do it, but I find this just to be the easiest, most straightforward way. And then I'm just going to be putting in my papers and I'm going to repunch it so that I can put the the papers up a little bit so that the bottom uh, doesn't hit the last little coil because I wanted those papers to be higher up they were a little too low for me they are shorter than the rest of the pages so that is why I did that and so they do end up having an extra hole but uh, I end up fixing that later on, so it's not a big deal. Or I end up like not punching the hole. See, I started not punching the hole. Do I put that in its own divider? I don't remember. I guess I do. <laughs> All right. So next I'm going to be putting in the um, printer paper and I can use this as sketch paper or note paper, whatever I want to use it for.
and the cinch can only handle so many pages at once which is why I'm dividing them and then I'm gonna put another craft paper divider and next I'm going to do the grid pages and I'm just kind of trying to figure out where they're going to land so I know where to punch the holes Uh, the cinch does have a guide, but um, for things like this where I kind of messed up the binding, the guide isn't is kind of pointless. So now I am going to be doing the lined paper, which is the last paper type in this journal. I keep calling it a journal, but really it's a notebook. I don't know. And it's starting to get nice and thick. And so I guess technically in this video you guys have a, uh, a twofer because I used the dividers as the covers and then I also repurposed the note pages from my planners. So and then I'm going to go ahead and crimp the binding and voila, I have a handy dandy little fancy DIY notebook. And I actually really love how this turned out and I... I cannot wait to use it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, and don't forget to check out part two on my second channel. I will see you guys later. Bye.